So over the years, I've really tested and learned and utilized many, many processes and systems when it comes to consultative selling. I've done it all. And I always seem to come back to one in particular, one specific methodology, and that's known as spin selling. And if you haven't read the book, Spin Selling yet, do it, do it right now. Go, go download it, go order it, do whatever you need to, because this will completely shift your frame and your mindset when it comes to selling people in a consultative way. Again, building a relationship and then sending them the solution to their problems. Spin selling is key to this. I still use it to this day. This book is from the 80s, for goodness sakes, and it's amazing. It still holds up. So what is spin selling? Spin selling stands for situation, problem, implication, and needs payoff. I always make a joke because the clearly payoff wouldn't sound good. Spip selling wouldn't have sounded good. So they needed to double the word, right? So situation, problem, implication, and needs payoff. So what does this mean? How do we actually organize this in a way that makes sense for our sales calls? Well, situation. You can think of each of these bullets and sections as chunks of time in your sales conversation. So we need to dedicate a, a chunk of time, a massive amount of time, to understanding their situation. Once done, we have to then move on to the area of the call focused on the problem. Then implication, then needs payoff. Situation is us asking the right questions to understand what their current situation in their business is. So for this specific company here, we can ask things like, well, what are you currently doing for lead generation? Walk me through the current situation with your lead generation and your lead acquisition within the business. Now, of course, we don't want to just ask one question, and we'll get into this here in a bit. We want to open up all conversation focused on their current situation. We need to exhaust that part of the conversation. We need to fully know and understand their entire situation. But once we do that, we then need to transition to problem. And this is where we unpack what problems are created because of the situation they just described to us. So literally asking, well, what problems are you seeing with the current situation? What problems are you currently and actively fighting every day because of the situation you are having in the business right now with lead generation? And we unpack that in its entirety. So, so far we know the current situation. We know the problems they're facing with their situation. Once we exhaust that section, we move to implication. This is the idea of painting the long-term picture of what happens to their business if they do nothing. If their current situation remains the same, what happens to their business over years time? So questions like, well, you know, if you didn't do anything and you maintained your current situation and the problems you're facing right now, what does that look like two years from now? And we get them thinking about what it looks like not to take a solution to fix their situation. So in turn, by us having this conversation around implication, it allows us to start having them sell themselves. One of the biggest keys to consultative selling, because they are the ones saying, well, two years from now, if I don't fix this, I don't know that the business is scalable. I feel like there's going to be a lot of frustration because I'm committing way too much time uh, to really clean all of this up in our lead gen, and I'll probably be burned out. I don't think we could scale beyond $8 million, and I really want to see this as a $20, $50 million business. I just don't think we can get there in two years if the situation stays the same. Again, as always, we need to exhaust all of that conversation. So we have to make sure that in the implication section, we're really allowing them to paint the full picture before we move on. Lastly, needs payoff is the pitch. And it's an easy pitch. Why? Because they just reminded themselves of their situation. They just reminded themselves of the problems they face every day and what keeps them awake at night. And they just painted a picture of what it looks like not to find a solution. So they are primed and ready to go for a solution. So this gives us the ability to easily say, listen, heard, I hear this all the time from our active clients, 
And I'm happy to say that we provide the solution you need. What if I told you that within three months, we can have this completely turned around and that two year vision that you just had that was completely negative and completely terrifying is gone. This allows us to go for an easier close because they sold themselves, let alone in this process of spin selling. We also make them our salesperson. So let's say they have a partner in the business who needs to be an equal decision maker. They now are able to go to that decision maker and have a conversation. And the conversations usually go, hey, listen, I, I was just talking to somebody about our current situation and how many problems it we're facing because of it. And they really helped me understand that if we don't fix this, it's only going to grow as a problem. I think this is the solution we should move forward. What do you think? So again, they're selling themselves with spend selling.